Today, I'm going to show you how to download an image and save it to your iPad and then upload that image to Cricut Design Space so that you can use it as a cutting file. So first, we're going to go to Google and I am going to look for a Dr. Seuss hat, clip art, black and white. So. When, the first time you do this process, I recommend using a black and white image. It's just easier to get used to doing the process. Let's go to images. I want to find something that looks nice and clear. I don't like this one here because it's um, cutting off part of the hat. Let's look at this one. Okay, this was a good image. Nice and crisp and clear. And it's got a good border of white around it so that I'm not chopping off part of the hat. I'm just going to press my finger onto the iPad and it comes up with share image or download image. I'm going to download image and I just saved it to my camera roll. That, it's that easy. Okay, so now let's go back into Cricut Design Space and scooch that off over there. Okay, we're going to upload an image from our photo library. And then when I go to photos, there it is. You can see it comes up really nice and crisp and clear. So now this is where you have to edit the image. You want to remove all the parts that you don't want to cut. Um, so the background, if I click on this remove wand, I can touch on the background and see how it changed the background from the white to that checkerboard. The checkerboard means it's transparent. It's now gone. Um, you can see in the preview, now it looks a little bit more like our hat shape. So now I can use the erase tool and click here and just erase this. And you can see it way away over there. And I'm going to also erase this little text down here. Okay, so now the next part is to remove some of the white that's inside. So I want to click inside the hat and see how it's starting to become an image that looks like all the detail is getting in there that's what we want i do have to say i like the um, preview in the ipad um, it takes a little bit to get used to zooming around in here but we'll get it okay so now what else do i need did I get all of those little areas? Not quite. So I'm just touching with my finger on the iPad to get all those little areas. I can't tell if I got that one or not. Okay, so now this is going to be the hardest part. I have to get rid of this dash line. So I'm going to go erase. And, oh, no, I went too big. So now I can just go undo. It puts it right back. So then if I make my little circle smaller, and I touch here. Oh, look at that. So now I'm going to have to zoom out and... Um, Do that all the way around. So cleaning up an image takes some time, but this is what we do so that we can have more fun images to use in Cricut Design Space. I like to switch back to remove to zoom in and out. It's just easier for me. And then I click back on erase and go with my finger. And like I said, if you get a little crazy, you can always undo and go back a step. I'm sure this is making for some really great video, huh? Let's see if I can get it from further out. I don't have to zoom as much. It takes a steady hand. I'm not going to lie.
I do find this easier to do on um, the desktop version just because you can use your mouse and you're not having to just go with your finger. Um, and zooming is easier on the desktop. Okay, so here's my one problem. My little preview is kind of blocking the area I need to clean up. And, oops, undo. That's going to make me crabby. So... See how close I can get in there. Oh, oh shoot. Yes, this is real live video. You're seeing all my struggles. Oh, oh, did I get it? I know, like I said, this is really exciting. But this is what it takes sometimes. Now if I could have found an image that didn't have this little outline, it would have saved me a lot of time. But then you wouldn't have seen how you can zoom in and out and really get in here and clean this image up. So but I do like on the iPad version, you have that little preview in the corner. So you can really see a live preview of what your image is going to look like. Come on, zoom. Whoops, I did a little race. I didn't want to do that. See that right there? There we go. Okay. Oh, shoot. There's a race part over there. Okay, I'm going to just go with it. Um, Just to show you this process. But I'm going to have to clean this one up a second time. Oops, I just noticed in the preview there's a big black spot right in here. So now I can go remove and click that. Okay, I want to make you sit through this while I go back and repair those couple spots that I screwed up. But Okay, so now if I look in the preview, it looks cleaned up and pretty, right? It's just the outline of the hat. So I'm going to go next. And now this lets me despeckle it. So if I had a really pixelated image, I could despeckle it. And I could use this little squirrely bar to kind of take out some of the speckling. Um... When I did that, it also took out some of the contouring lines. So I'm, I'm going to leave it like that. Smooth um, can also kind of take out some of the speckling areas too. So I, I like it. So I'm going with next. Okay. Here is the big screen that I like to point out. The first image is saving it as a cut file. That means I'm going to cut it with cardstock. I'm going to cut it with vinyl, any material that I'm sticking on the mat and sticking into the Cricut to cut it. This second image over to the right says print and cut. So if you wanted to print this image from your printer and then just cut around the outside of the hat, you would want to use a print and cut. For this project, we're doing a cut image. So I'm taping Type in a name in here, um, Dr. Oops, Dr. Pet. Okay, so now I'm going to save it. And now it's in my uploaded images. So now I can just click on that. I can tell it's selected because it's got the green outline around it. Insert that. And boom, there it is. So that is how you clean up an image that you've downloaded from the internet and insert it into Cricut Design Space on your iPad. Um, I can also tell that I did this correctly because when I go on my layers panel, I can see that Dr. Seuss hat is saved as a cut file. So now it's all ready to cut this. Now, I'm sure you're asking, well, Sean, how do I get all the colors in there? That's another video. So make sure to like this video and then subscribe to my YouTube because I'm going to do the how to add the colored layers next and you don't want to miss it. Thanks.